good dog. Are you ready to go? You look like you're already lopsided. Come here and let me fix your harness. Oh boy. <laughs> Day one, we have made it to the trailhead. Roxy's getting her harness on. We're having to do a quick pivot because the last part of our hike, which basically goes up to Sawtooth Lake and back around and out, is all closed because of fire. So we just had a quick team huddle. We think we've just come up with a cool, you know, we're gonna do some donuts up in this lake basin and uh, do that instead, which I think will cut down our mileage, but um, allow us to see more of these high lakes, which is exciting. So we're gonna, we're gonna roll with you all ready? The DOG is ready to roll. Oh no! All right, what did everyone forget? I forgot my camp shoes. I forgot Good for you. There's always the huge setback. Forget, like I forgot my sleeping bag or my sleeping pad or my sunglasses. And then there's the just really stupid inconvenience forget. Like I forgot my camp shoes. I'm actually pretty bummed about that. And we're off. Yeah. Packs are pretty heavy. We have six days of food, but um, we have a pretty chill first day. We're just going up this beautiful river valley. So, shouldn't be so bad. Hold on, we'll have a group dance party. What do we got? Every, everything, everyone. All right, how's everybody feeling? Good. He didn't I can't say. Hear he's got music in. Uh, Ted's already defaulted to music, so there you have it, folks. One of our favorite topics for backpacking: how we would survive the zombie apocalypse, where we would raid in sisters, and who would make our zombie apocalypse team. And so, of course, right out the gate, this is the convo this morning. We've already recruited some neighbors, the owner of our local coffee shop. Um, we figured out where our bug out location is going to be and uh, how to fortify the fence. How to, how to fortify the fence. Forgot yeah. how to talk. Good lord. All right. Scenery is beautiful. Trail is pretty chill so far. Nice and sandy underfoot, not too rocky. They're still talking about the zombie apocalypse. Let's talk about dad's pack for a second. Dad, what year would you estimate this pack is from? Uh, 2001. So, you had it before that. Well, did I? Yeah, you took it on the Miss and Ivy, I think. So We're going to call this late 90s. This is a late 90s model. Yeah. Um, it is heavy. And I love the way he packs it because it's just kind of like jaunted to the side. And you look like an old fashioned dude who's here to sell tin cups to the. Uh, the prospectors. The only thing missing from this scene is you need to be leading a donkey. I was thinking about strapping a whole bunch of stuff to the outside just to annoy the two of you. <laughs> Believe me, your hose bouncing is already doing that. <laughs> okay, give your stick to Sasha. Giving the dog a little submersion. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it. Oh, good dog. That's what we're looking for. That's some beautiful clear water. All right. About three miles in. Beautiful so far. No complaints. Except that I forgot my camp shoes. Well, cost of doing business. <laughs> Look how cute the dog is waiting for the crusties off the brie. Oh, that is delicious. Can we show, give us a side profile of the sandwich here? Oh yeah, there it is, guys. I dropped some. The HRC oh, no. special. We got the brie, ah. the baked tofu. You kind of have to hold it together with the sides of your hands. And um, just optimism mm -hmm. also. That's what Ted I'm waiting left. patiently. Ted optimism. Ted's just having bagel. A meal, a meal with no meat is no meal at all. <laughs> oh boy. We have had an awesome lunch. We had a uh, fancy hiking sandwiches. Now we're getting all cooled off in this beautiful river. This is the South Fork of the Payette, and we're gonna walk up this for about six more miles today until we hit a little, kind of a wide spot on the river called Elk Lake. And that'll be Camp One. That'll be about 11 miles, which is kind of a long first day, but 
the trail has just been really chill. Not a lot of big elevation or big climbs. So it's a good day to get some good mileage out. Just a nice hike up this river valley, which is gorgeous. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. Whoa, big birds. It's cool. Okay, ready? Go get it. Go get it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, Rox. I believe in you. Oh, yeah. Good dog. So it's after lunch. We're all kind of hiking apart a little bit because it's an easy destination with no branches. There's Ted up there listening to music. Roxy is with me, of course, my little adventure buddy. Um, and we're going through a really nice bunch of trees right now, which is great. One of the things I always worry about with Roxy is if the trail gets really exposed and the sand is dark, it can start burning her feet really quickly. And it is actually shockingly hot. I thought it would be cooler up here, but it's pretty hot. So I am excited that we have the potential to get the dog wet as much as we do, because that is going to be key today. Yeah, but beautiful woods. Love it. How's everybody doing? How's the trail mix, Dad? It's delicious. You know, it's kid-tested mother approved. I know. That was a good feature. Ted likes the trail mix. <laughs> well, Sasha's feeding me little bitey bits, and it's so delicious. I, I, no chocolate for dogs. No chocolate see. for dogs. Chocolate for dogs. Oh, it's so good. No way, no. We got two miles oh, to go. We just made it through a really big rock fall. That was like, imagine being here when this thing went, this would have been loud. So we had to take the dog's pack off, but she made it herself. Well, I did have to grab the handle. Yeah, Sasha had to guide, but with the pack off, the dog made it. This is pretty cool that this is one out of 10. No, I'm just kidding. This is like a nine out of 10. <laughs> Dad keeps asking us to compare this trail to the PCT and we just gave it a four, but this section, that little rock fall is not a four for sure. That is a cool thing. Mm -hmm. All right, onward. Look at you. Look at that. That is pretty darn cool. There we go. That's pretty beautiful. We're almost there. Boy, it's hard without gut hooks, now rebranded as far out. Not to be able to click on any feature and know exactly how far you are. You gotta use old fashioned map skills. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. My feet hurt a little bit because... It's been rocky. It's been rocky and I'm not used to wearing tacks. But I have to say, I, I think I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, you're doing good. You're doing good. All right, we have a uh, trail runner in the family. So when we got to the lake, Sasha scouted ahead and she found us this campsite. You can see the corner of the lake just sparkling. So we had to almost go past it. This is our situation. It's pretty much incredibly rad. We got tent spots. We got these cool log jobbers. I don't even know what these are for. And we all made uh. it. This is probably gonna be the least beautiful lake too. And it's looking pretty beautiful if you ask me. We even have a part of your world rock to be aerial on. That's pretty exciting. The red cup where we keep the coffee juice. The red cup where we keep the coffee juice. Mama's got the coffee juice that you crave. 
Good morning, happy campers. Oh, one of them is buried. Buried in a sec. Mm -hmm. Thank you. How was your little shack last night? It's so spacious. Um, it did collapse once. Your tent collapsed? Mm -hmm. In the middle of the night. The tent was too long and he scooched down and he kicked the base of the <laughs> to pull out. <laughs> All right, Chief, how'd you sleep last night? I didn't sleep that great. It was kind of like a first night on trail. I thought that I didn't go to sleep until 10 because I was afraid that there were going to be rock falls and we were going to be eaten by bears and we were all going to die. I did a couple rounds of like, are bears going to come into our camp? Roxy, I think, slept very well last night. Mm -hmm. We got to do a little video of Roxy getting into her little uh, sleeping bag. Babe, how'd you sleep? Uh, not so good. And you have some toe blisters. Ted, how did you sleep? I second with Sasha said, except for the bears and the rock falls. Oh, okay. I wasn't really worried about that. You really weren't, but it took you a while to fall asleep? Yes. All right. So we've had breakfast and coffee. It's like getting on about 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Can you imagine? What? Such luxury. The boys are so sick of us right now. And, uh... We got a, Ted is very grumpy this morning. We got a big climb ahead of us, but we're flexible, so we can make today shorter if we want to, so that's cool. Okay, it's morning, and we're hiking, and I don't want it... Day two? Day two. Um, we're out here for six days, so, yeah. Um, everyone said that they got kind of a poopy night's sleep last night. okay. Except Mom, because Mom can sleep wherever, as long as there's nothing to bother her. <laughs> um, I don't have Kepler doing donuts on my face right now. So I, comparatively, this is so better. I'm, I'm running at a little sleep deprivation, I think. Yeah. Um, we have a good climb coming up, but 2000, wow, look at those, look at those rocks. Look at those rocks. Those are some cool rocks. Um, we have a 2000 foot climb coming up which is farther, I think, than we went yesterday, even though yesterday felt farther. Yesterday felt like a pass. Um, but yeah. Nobody has forgotten anything trip ending critical, but we've all, a lot of us have forgotten something. So Chief and I have no comb or hairbrush. I plan to whittle one. I'm also in braids and I have faith that the braids are gonna last me until the end of the trip. I so here's day, here's braids day two, looking Woo. a little scraggly, but they're still there. I forgot my Kula cloth and my camp shoes, and those are both just minor annoyances. Ted, what'd you forget? Um, Ted forgot his spoon, but we kind of have started to whittle him one. Did you keep your <laughs> spoon? We have what? to show you dad's whittled spoon tonight. It's, it's a pretty dope spoon. A shoes off river crossing. Should I take the dog's pack, Ted? Is it too deep for her? Or? What? It's cold. <laughs> I stuck my toes in and I went, no. <laughs> I gotta psych myself up. <laughs> Think of something really that makes you happy. <laughs> wow, look at those plants. Bye. <laughs> I think those plants are edible. Fun fact hiking. Go with Sash, rocks. You can do it. Ooh, this is a... Oh, I see. Nah. Look at my little backpacking family. They're adorable. Look at the dog. Wow. They're my three favorite hikers. We found huckleberries. We've been passing the bushes for so long with nothing on them. And we finally hit like this jackpot of wonderful, wonderful big huckleberries. And it's amazing. We are in a three and change section to the trail junction that will take us like up into the Satis proper. And we're just crushing it because it's not rocky and it's not super steep and it's soft underfoot and we're not kicking rocks so uh we thought this trail would be a lot like yesterday's trail which was pretty steep and a lot of ankle turners so we're pretty stoked right now we're cruising along we have the most awesome lunch spot it's like a water slide into a pool and we are having 
PB and J with hammer gel, raspberry, and trail butter almond. And um, 10 out of 10 in our lunch spot. The dog is happy. She's had a nice little dunk. Oh, he's like a model. All right, she's got the technique down. Oh, well, Sasha's got it now. <laughs> All right, we are at Benedict Lake, where we're gonna stop and take a nice little swim, get the dog all wet. Dog kind of just fell into a river, her pack's kind of wet. We'll dry her pack out. And, uh, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's reminding me a lot of the Sierra today, for sure. Backflip. Woo, legs all the way now, baby. Skills. That's true, legs all the way. So I think, as beautiful as it's been, we are now kind of getting to the good stuff. And it should be lakes and, and lakes. Uh, and we're all doing pretty good. We got had a nice swim. Oop, tree to go under. We've only got about three miles to our intended camp for the night, which is Spangle Lake. So not bad. How, really? Because the higher you go, the better it gets. The redder it gets. I mean, look at this. This is just idyllic. The dog is adorable. Look at her with her little pack, leading the crew. Typical example of spot after spot of neat places in the Sawtooth Mountains. This cool little stream running under this bridge next to this awesome lake with this meadow. Here is Rockside Lake from like up above and you can see, oh, it's got an island, how cute. You can see that beautiful blue color. Look who's leading the pack. Adorable little tootsies going down the rocks. It's Ingeborg. I just make stuff up, guys. Oh, but we love you unconditionally. We forgive you for butchering Ingeborg. If anyone knows what it's in for, I'm giving it a very like Scandi twist. Ingeborg Lake. We will have some canned herring and some seed crackers, yeah. So those are the lakes. Spangle Lakes is where we are going to stay tonight. I'm pretty stoked. Look at Who did that. such a good job today and is now kicking it on their custom sleeping bag? Me. I do not like this fly though. So this is where we've landed. We are on a little peninsula. It's about 340. And uh, we did so good today. We did so good. Leaving at 9 and getting there by 3.30. We are backpackers. Yeah, no, it does not. And then this is our uh this is our home for the night. We've got these big rocks. A couple of good tent spots. Woo -woo. So the reason that this rock is all cool and rounded is it's glacially rock scoured. And you can see all these lines and scrapes. Those are called glacial striations. And it shows the direction in which the ice retreated during the last ice Just age. A little geography. Just a little fun fact. What? I have to think, wait, I have to think of uh, good catch. 
That was the strangest catchphrase I've ever seen or heard. Agreed. I got it up my nose. Video's on. All right, you go. I still touch the bottom. Not as much this time. It is so clear. Nope. So dad is cooking us some mountain house rice and chicken. <sighs> and the view from our table is pretty great. I like our seats. Got little spots all set up. The dog has had her dinner, she's down there. Mm. Okay, my dad, my dudes. How was day two? Uh, day two was good. Yeah, we hiked uh, seventeen miles, ten-ish miles. Yeah, ten-ish. Got here like left at nine. Got here at like three thirty. Five-star campsite. Like a bunch of backpackers. We just been chilling and relaxing and eating dinner and like we swam and swam and swam and we're just enjoying this gorgeous view from our rock perch. Uh, and there is no wind. There's not a breath of wind. It's amazing up here right now. We're, we're in our tent. This is the kid tent. And there's the dog in her sleeping bag that my mom made for her out of an old kid sack. And I unpacked my pillow on this trip and discovered that the plastic had cracked and it was ripped in multiple different places. So I have a, a large gallon Ziploc and I've put it in my pillowcase and uh, the verdict on this will have to come in the morning. The dog is out. <laughs> 